New evidence and death of Clinton love child points to murder. Danny Williams only committed one crime, he was born the illegitimate sons of William Jefferson Clinton. Danny's mother, Olivia Snow Williams, was killed more than two years ago just before her story was about to break. She disappeared and her body was never found. Investigators questioned the Clintons and their staffs but came up empty. Last year, on the anniversary of his mother's death, Danny Williams walked into a Gulf Haven, Mississippi courthouse, changed his name to his mother's maiden name, Snow, and went home to kill himself. That's the official story, anyway, as presented by the three law enforcement agencies asked to investigate. The local police noted that there was sufficient cause to believe that someone else was in the room when Danny died but that there was no evidence that he was under any duress. He made a very calm video explaining his actions and hung himself. The state police dismissed the local police notion in their official report, even though they never visited the scene, closing the investigation before the autopsy results had even come back. The FBI never stepped foot in Mississippi but exonerated Clinton from Quantico instead. The tides of justice are beginning to turn, however, after a new development in the case. A woman who worked as an aide to Bill Clinton around the time Williams disappeared has come forth with a note she found on his desk the day Williams died. LOD correspondent Cynthia Lujo explains. The note on the desk, in Hillary Clinton's handwriting, is the script for Danny's suicide note video. He read the page verbatim. How she convinced him to do that or what she had on him is anyone's guess. But this is incontrovertible evidence that Hillary Clinton was responsible for this poor young man's death. Clinton's lawyers have already filed an injunction to squash the new evidence. This time it may be too late. They never saw this coming. Ming.